Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today we're going to look at the preset pinball. You just go in it, take a look around, and see what's actually going on. I'm actually super excited about this because I consider myself a pinball player. I belong to a league in New York we're called Danger Danger with a bunch of badasses. So I love pinball. I take pinball seriously. <laughs> as serious as one can usually over whiskey. Uh, but this is going to be fun. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing I want to take a look at is to see how the UI is done. Okay, so you got the left flipper and the right flipper. Click on it. You see here it's got a component oops oh shit component action so that means it's called onto the screen wait wait why is it left right there's two oh, these are just images it looks like to help simulate and i always like it when the button takes up the whole screen as opposed to like let's say over the button which you know again it's just personal preference this is the way i like it or the way i would do it okay so let's just go ahead and you know what i need the buttons on my keyboard to do this so let's just go ahead and make sure we got buttons for it uh, left and right i'm gonna do z and x okay so let's take a look and see what we got here Okay, and you can see, and I've seen this in Pinball Star, which is a game that you can download, and it's actually a pretty good game. Uh, but the, the controllers don't go all the way back. So, I mean, again, this is just a preset to help get your... Oh, did I just miss that? Yeah, I had to miss it. Um, pinball, a lot of fun. And then, so this is like the next level, next stage. And my guess is everything here gets replaced. But, you know, let's just go ahead and make it to the next stage. I can do that. Use my map pinball skills that I've accumulated over the years. That literally went through. I saw that, so that's just like a bug. Not a bug, but just it's gotta get fixed. Ah, okay. Seriously, I do play pinball though. Um, be cool to edit. Okay, so that did not go to the next scene, which I suspect it's supposed to start at. Let's find out what that does. Star action, character overlay, action type none. Oh, it's just for a point. Okay. So then this, okay, so I thought this preset had a little bit more, but it looks like it's got less, and that's fine. So let's take a look at the character. This preset, the character is the ball that's moving around, and when you touch the screen, it actually moves objects in the screen and not the character itself, which is a little different, but always a great example of how BuildBox is very versatile, depending on what you want to do. And in this case, we don't want to move the character by touching the screen. Let's go ahead and just explore. So here we got, this is a transform left. This has got multiple transforms over here too. This is transform left as well, and a transform left as well. So multiple transform left. This is transform right, and I suspect both of these are transform right as well. Okay, cool, cool. And then this, this is the character. This is not the character. This is just a ball. The character is down here. Okay, I see. So that's my first miss, is that the character, This while this is the character up here, the character does not do anything. The character is actually at the bottom. So my guess is the ball is a wheel. Hmm. It makes me wonder exactly how end game happens, but we will get to that in due time. So this is the left. Go ahead and take a look at the left. Okay, so here we go. Left on advanced move is already forced. That means whatever it's supposed to do, it does. And here it doesn't do anything. So in case, in case for whatever reason, uh, let's say you load to a new level um, and you have already pressed the button, it forces it to go down. I think this is a really good example. So I'm going to say it again because I have noticed this issue in other pinball games that have used this template. My belief is this doesn't always work but here is where it's trying to make sure it does work is that if you're pressing the flipper up and you jump to the next level it should automatically go down and this little check button forces it to go down now that doesn't always happen again this is on later previous versions of Buildbox, but it could be the case. Okay, so left flipper button, timeout, angular velocity, replace. Essentially, whatever the velocity is, if you press it, it'll do it. Now, I'm gonna show you an example where I press it back to back and don't fully use the timeout. Whether or not I can do that in 0.05 seconds is, I guess we'll see. Yeah, you see it? It can flip out. Oops, I should've hit that other button. Yes, yeah, so it's just going all over the place. Again, these are presets and they're just like made to like give you the foundation and um, this is why we're going through it. <laughs> this is why we're going through it. Okay, um, what else does this do? Left flipper, replace negative 20. Okay, so this is great, this is great. So when you press the button or the left or the left button goes up and then when you let go, it goes down. I've used this before and here you can just see that if you just press the shit out of it, things can flip out. Well, there it was looking normal. This is actually a move in pinball. You hold it up and then you let go and you flip it. So like, ooh, ooh, and I'll show you another cool pinball move since you can like press it where the ball goes up into the air and you toss it over to the right one. Well, you saw what I was trying to do, but that's like a, an advanced 
real pinball move. Characters here, ball is here, got multiple transform. I think these multiple transforms are, j are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. These are here just, I suspect, in case one is missed. If for whatever reason you're moving, the flipper is moving and it misses the first one, it hits the second one. And then it affects the right asset, which is this, and replaces it to zero, zero. Okay, and then you got here. Characters here, you know, let's take a look at the character and see if there's anything more going inside. Okay, looks like it's just a picture. That's cool. So when taking a look at a preset, it's always good to just like take a look around. Speed is 60, so you notice that the speed here is only on the X and not the Y. I don't think that matters. Oh yeah, it's here because it's it doesn't go up, but it still shouldn't matter because the character stays at the bottom. Direct movement, force movement, not so much damage, damage, damage. Okay, so the character has no damage. Let's take a look at the ball, see what's going on with this. It looks like it's just the ball. You know, this makes, oh, you know, this is just makes me wonder how do you get a game over? Okay, so the, the ball, the ball is here. You know, let's move this over here. Apologies, the ball is here. Character is down here, but when the ball hits the, Okay, so the ball actually is before the ball hits the character, if you notice. The ball gets like somewhere in the middle over here. Yeah, okay, so you see that? Some, it hits something here. I see nothing there, so let me use this. And again, still nothing there. And you notice this platform, like look, see how this is kind of weird? Let's take a look and see what's going on there. Something is going on here, collision shape. There, you see this? This, I suspect it's not an accident. Oh, you know what it is? It's like a little extra give. It's like a little extra give. So if you hit, so that essentially this left flipper extends out to here. See, like that. And yeah, that's nice. So it's a little extra give. That one completely missed it. That cool. But I also noticed on this that the character is actually a full circle. And here's a little box diagram. So this box is actually where we saw the ball land and then they go game over so i suspect that when the wheel touches this piece over here with the character then it's a game over but i just looked at the character before and it didn't have the collision shape up to here so take a look at that some more because something is going on and we're just not sure what i'm gonna put this over here just because it helps add a different perspective so i'm gonna try to get this ball over here to see if i can get a game over Yeah, okay, so even though this ball, actually, let me put it back. I want to see it again. So this is the character, and then this is the whole collision area, which is interesting because I don't think it should be like that, only because it should be flat, but I guess it's a circle. So if the wheel touches the ball, then game over. Oh, I'm sorry. So if the ball touches the character, this is the ball. Yeah, regular shape. Regular shape. It's a wheel. Ah, oh, right here. Uh, duh. Wheel. So it's a wheel because it doesn't want to be an enemy, which is... Fine, it could probably also be an enemy, but it's that so selected to collide and destroy a character. So, okay, that's what I was wondering the whole time, and we found it. It's interesting that the character down here, though, if it's touching, usually if the character's touching the red line, it would cause a game over. And why, why when this is flattened, so like, look, um, I can go ahead and make 2.25. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just copy this. I'll just add this, have it. So now the circle is like regular. Now the character is a regular size. See this? And if you make it skinnier, it keeps the same collision shape. Interesting. So like, no matter what, oh, because on the grid, we'll call this the grid or the workspace. If you adjust the size of the character, its collision shape stays the same, which I don't necessarily think is like the best solution or a good way. I don't, I don't think that's good. Um, so I'm gonna go into act the actual character and change the default animation to something like this, okay? And I'm gonna put this at zero, zero. So now it's actually flat and skinny. And then that should also edit the collision shape. And if it doesn't, we can go into the collision shape and see this. And I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a polygon, perfect. So now this, just kind of like for me, it works better because I understand it more. The way it was set up as a preset totally works. And I understand that now too. But this I like. Now let's take a look at these uh, flippers because these flippers don't work beautifully. They 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 work as I mentioned. Actually, play pin. Oh yeah, actually play pinball. Not working for me. So tapping moves it up. Cool. Tapping 
let's let's take a look at it on start okay so it replaces not exactly sure how the timeout works because you can hold the button down and usually a timeout means that you can't hold it down so let's go ahead and activate on release so i don't know like can i change it to like two like two seconds which is like a really long time but okay so now it just flips out so if i change it to two like what is it doing is it no, let's take a look at this and find jump timeout. Uh, different timeout, but maybe similar. How many seconds after triggering does this move stop? After two seconds, it stops. Okay, so 0 0.05. We want 0.05 because we want it to stop. And two seconds means it can keep going or go, 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 which is what we were seeing. And let me go ahead and show that again. Everyone's on the same page. Okay, timeout, two seconds. Get this debug mode off. And when I press it, it's just, it's just going and going because it's been more than two seconds and then it stops. Now we don't want that. Honestly, what was it, 0.05? Pretty good. Let's do it again. Yeah. Perfect. So this pretty much does it. So this is a great dive into pinball. Um, I want to go ahead and do some more stuff. So let's go ahead. Is this an action? You can tell if it's an action by the little icon over here. And I don't believe this is an action. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Now this is an action. Yeah. Go ahead and move this baby over here. And we're going to go to next checkpoint. Now, if you have a next checkpoint, you also need to have a set checkpoint. So I'm going to go and grab, I have like a billion assets of like stuff. So let me go ahead and grab this. Well, it's like this. Yeah, this circle. And grab it as an action. I'm going to call this set checkpoint. And since I'm already in here, I'm going to go ahead and grab another image, triangle. Yeah, that's a cool image. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one. And I'm going to call this one start, uh, next checkpoint. So get rid of the next. Just so we can have images that are all kind of new and not something that's um, already in the preset so that you know maybe things are less confusing. OK, so let's recap. Next checkpoint, action type, next checkpoint. Um, no, no, no. Whenever you're doing an action, you always want to uncheck these because they'll throw you off. And then let's grab set checkpoint and put this over here. So. Ideally, if I hit this star, I'll go to the next map. Now, whether the map contains all this stuff, I don't think it does, but maybe. Let's take a look. Okay, hold that up. Get that point. Okay. Not the same as real pinball. Oh, so close. <laughs> you know, I could just make that checkpoint bigger, and then I won't have this issue, but I'm going to try to get it right now. Okay. Go ahead and make this bigger. Oh, nope. There we go. And so easy. I'm literally just going to move this right here now. Damn. Oh, what? Nothing. Did nothing? That's weak. Take a look. Next checkpoint, reward, nothing, camera freight, flash, appearance, 100%, yes, 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 that's good. All right, here we go, set checkpoint, oh, set checkpoint, yeah. So I just didn't have that set up properly and still not working. Okay, get rid of these, like I said, you know, you don't want that. Oh, uh, you know what it is? It's because the ball is not a character. The ball is not a character, therefore, when you try to go to the next spot, you can't because you haven't touched it with the character. So that's why that's not working. Because if this ball was a character, then it would work. So my thought is, I'm gonna try again to make this a decoration. I'm just gonna have it move slowly down. And it's 15. Okay, cool. So that did take us to the next level. Let's show that again, but slower. Um, Again, this is a decoration, and to get to the next level, we need this action called next checkpoint to touch the character. And here I just set this piece to go down because where I was trying to have it be a collision piece without colliding with anything, that clearly did not work. Okay, cool. So that's how you get to the next level.